It's week 17 of the National Football League, and we have Amon Ross St. Brown on center stage. And big plays follow him around. He comes in second in the NFL at receiving yards. It's the Cardinals and the Rams. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. one started and this one is underway here on EA Sports and no run back here so they'll bring it out to the 25 so out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive and they will be let out by their rookie quarterback and the numbers were not pretty I mean they don't look right when you throw two interceptions no touchdown passes there's no way to really make that work but I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting on a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. On first and ten, McKinney. And his first look is incomplete. Well, these two division rivals, the schedule maker, gave them a couple of second-half meetings this year. They met for the first time back in Week 11, and it was the visiting Cardinals who came away with the victory. So now they've got a chance here to sweep the season series if they can get the victory in Glendale. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw. McKinney trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Monty Rice. And the Rams will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football. But at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. Following the interception, Mayfield. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Mayfield now. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Rams there on a pickup. Here's Mayfield. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Throwing again on second down, Mayfield. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Going to the air again with Mayfield. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. And oh, off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. Well, I tell you, I think by definition, you won't get any closer to equaling the record than that. Not at all. 64 yards end over end. And I think he's going to come up about a half a revolution short. And that could really have bounced either way. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. And they'll 
They'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw. McKinney. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That good for 22 and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. A throw left side taken in by Komet. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field. And they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field. Took it down here. Put the ball in the end zone. The six on the scoreboard. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. You know, Charles, season winding down. Time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having, just about every position is up for grabs right now. No one is really safe, but the focal point's always the quarterback position. And he may be auditioning to try and stay with his own current team. I think he's auditioning for the rest of the league to try and find a spot because I think this team is looking for a new quarterback. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they get five there on third and two. Mayfield looks to throw. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. It'll be a loss of ten. And it'll bring up second. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. From the gun, Mayfield. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Here's Williams to return. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And they will take over first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. 
And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 46 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Now it's second and nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 23. Here's a give up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. McKinney. And this will be incomplete. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On third down, McKinney. Over the middle, complete. That's more. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first down, McKinney. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals go up by two touchdowns. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown-interception ratio is about three to one for the best quarterbacks. But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. The Cardinals setting out to kick this one away, and off we go. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. To throw, Mayfield. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. After the sack on first down, Mayfield. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. The third down coming up. Third and long for Mayfield. Got his man complete over the middle. And it's a fumble. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, we've got an injured player here as well. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him. And we'll step aside for a moment. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. Call that a very strong gain of 
24. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. And he stopped immediately there. Here's second and ten. The Cardinals had six and nine to start play. Now they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have the home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. To throw on third down, McKinney. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff to the 43, second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Looking to throw on second down. McKinney. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Operating from the gun. McKinney. Man open. It's St. Brown. He's got it. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 45-yard line. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Second and nine from the 44. Looking to throw. McKinney. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, Cardinals. A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Cardinals take a three-touchdown lead. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. The try here for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an option where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mayfield now from the 50. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Give him 30 yards there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Mayfield with it once more. Here's Mitchell with a catch out of the backfield. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing. Mayfield. 
field. Find time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field. But defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Gay's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board, give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Throwing on first down. McKinney. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. A tough adjustment to the NFL throughout his rookie season. And his problem turnovers is only exacerbated by his early showing today. That's a couple for him here in this first half. And he's cleared the double-digit mark for the entire season. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Mayfield to throw it. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. Take it in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Mayfield. He'll get this to Ward. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Good. Mayfield. Open man right side is cut complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. 
Gonna run the sweep here. This is Cup. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now Mayfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball out of their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. In this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Gay's kick is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They'll start this drive out on the ground. They find some open field here. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 92 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Operating from the gun, McKinney. Across the middle, he's got it complete to St. Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 33. That one goes for 24 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. To throw on second down, McKinney. Oh, that'll be incomplete. He took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will extend their lead even further. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. Take it in at the three. And we're going to look at Cooper Cup as the Rams offense gets ready to take over possession. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation. The catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. Means he wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mayfield now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. This is taken at the 15. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, 
That leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Final minute now in the third quarter. On first and 10, McKinney. They'll find Williams on the slam. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Second and two. Hands it off out of the gun. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. A gain of 10 first down Arizona. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the... Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. And room there to work it inside the 25. 113 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign if nothing else they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down from the gun they'll try to run it and on this one he'll get to the 15 right at the 15 yard line and now they're in the hurry up and here's a handoff out of the gun and able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. This drive's taking more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. On and Ross St. Brown from 10 yards out. And the Cardinals look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. As the Rams offense comes back out, here is the NFC playoff picture coming into the weekend. And with a final fortnight of games upon us, teams jockeying for position. Some of these games really starting to take enormous importance as they always do this time of year. I like how you use fortnight. I'm impressed, yeah, I am impressed. That Thank means you. two weeks, if that, I'm not that mistaken. Does, correct. That does. But how about exactly what you're talking about? Going down the stretch, how much importance is placed on these games? Look, everyone talks about every game's important. <laughs> when you get to this time of year, maybe that importance gets quadruple and that's where we are right now to see who can make their last run their last push to get into the playoffs well that frustration charles it's been building on the defensive side of the ball and unfortunately there it turns into a roughing the passer penalty yeah and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game but it's got to come out in a different way you can't hit him illegally stop him downfield the way you're supposed to Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Mayfield. And this is caught. It's Parker. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And again, it's Mayfield. Throw left side, complete to come. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. 
From the red zone now, Mayfield finds his man over the middle. It's likely. And it'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal. Mayfield looks to throw. Try to find cut, but it's intercepted. And now look at him go. 30, 10, and they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them to play it. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Back to it after the pick six. Mayfield. A rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. Brady Williams picks it off. And the Cardinals are going to take possession of the football. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games you just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. Off the play fake, McKinney. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and eight. Touchdown, Cardinals! Cole Komet, 26 yards! And the Cards start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them is going to be at his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defense. faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends and understandably so not only did they get the win but boy their offense was on fire in this ball game and partner i have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars what's the top gear you can get into this offense they certainly were there in this one huh? everything clicking for them in this contest the kind of performance that they're going to cherish Well, all right, guys. Glad we got a good, a good win there. You know. Got a real good win. Doing our thing, you know what I mean? Um, we found a way to put it all together. Kenny Brackett's been having a really, really, really nice end of the season.